Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khalid Bishi and I am a respirator therapist. Today we'll show you how to set up and start the SLP 5000 ventilator. So first we already have our ventilator here and we have our circuit for the SLP ventilator. As we always say, we will connect first our oxygen line, then our medical air, then we would like end the electricity for our ventilator and our humidifier. And now we will start connecting our ventilator circuit for the SLE 5000. First, we will take our humidifier chamber and we will insert it in the place for it. After this one, we will take the short inspiratory limb. And as you see it here, it's the green one. It's maybe there is a different company, they will make it in a different color. It doesn't matter, but you have to know that this one is the inspiratory limb. And we will connect it into the fresh gas to the patient. Then the other part, it will go to the humidifier. After this one, we will take the long one. As we see here, the green one is the inspiratory limb, the white one is the expiratory limb, and the small one, the thin one, this is what we call it the proximal airway. So we will connect it now. The white one in the exhalation board, as you see it right now in the picture. The green one. The green one, the inspiratory limb, it will go to the other side for the humidifier. And we still have this one, the proximal airway. As you see it also in the picture, we will connect it. Then after this one, we will go now. Just let me fix this one. We will take our cables for the humidifier, this one the yellow one, I will go to the other side, it's more better. And I will take also the other one, the blue one, this is for only the humidifier. As you see also in the picture, and in the middle of the inspiratory limb also. Now, we still need to connect the last thing which is the flow sensor. As you see it right now also in the picture. So I will take the flow sensor cable, this one. And I will connect it here in the flow sensor. So, okay. The other adapter, I will take my flow sensor, the ISO. Then I will insert it on it. And you have to make sure that you insert it well. You will, that's, you will not broke down the one inside it. Okay, then in our circuit. So now we are ready to start and switch on our ventilator and also do first calibration for our flow sensor. Then we will set our setting. So now first we will switch on our ventilator from the back. You will handle it or you will hold it long press, then you will remove your hand. As you see right now in the picture, it will take less than 30 seconds for start. SLE 5000. So first, 
after you start and switch on your ventilator you will go to this part try to make it a little bit near as you see we have to calibrate our flow sensor so you will press here then you will go to flow you will take your flow sensor you will close it from two sides then you will press calibrate okay now we are ready to set our setting so first you will go to mode select we have different modes here first CMV pressure support ventilation high frequency only CBAP BTV SIMV high frequency plus CMV for today we will choose only the basic things so we will go to the SIMV sorry SIMV then before you conform you have to set your setting you want it we have first here our rate I will keep my rate on 40 then my inspiratory time I will keep it example 0 0.35 and it's the bend in the range of your patient that you are dealing with is he very preterm is he term is he post term so you will go to the beep I will keep my beep 5 or let's say 5 no problem my BIB I'll keep it 15 my percentage of oxygen of IO2 let's say 30 so now after you set your setting you will press conform as you see the ventilator start but we still have to set our trigger right you see it right now it's open and here so we'll press and set trigger then as you see in the line here we'll put it example one so my trigger it will be one set the trigger you will keep it for less than five seconds and it will be set okay so this is how we set and start our ventilator but let's say example that the doctor ask you to start a targeted tidal volume or a volume guarantee in a baby look a thousand we call it volume guarantee here in SLE 5000 they call it TTV which is targeted tidal volume as you see here so you will press on it then you will choose the percentage of leak for compensated I will keep it 20 then I will make it on and conform as you see the difference here in the setting I'll just try to make it a little bit down yeah perfect everything still the same we have our rate we have our max inspiratory time then we have our beep we have here our max BIB beacon inspiratory pressure then here you can set your tidal volume you want it like for today I keep it formal per kg or sorry formal here then the percentage of oxygen this is how you set the tidal volume or the targeted tidal volume on the right corner here you will see your reading the inspiratory time measure the total uh, breath the trigger the expiratory time the leak in the middle you have your graph and the waveform on the right side you can lock this one okay if you press on it you will not be able to change anything okay thank you so much and this is the basic thing about SLE 5000 switch on your ventilator connect your oxygen and medical air connect your circuit properly make sure to connect also your flow sensor and calibrate it